like it, don't f watch it. This is an update video on this because I haven't done one for a while and there's been a hell of a lot of change to it. So here we go. These are 19 inch motorbike rims and tyres. I think the rims actually come off a of CZ250 which have been powder coated. They're actually brand new alloy rims. Mud hugger, mud guard on the front. The headlights are uh, 10 watt, I think they're 10 watt or 20 watt, don't know. They're ridiculously bright, absolutely ridiculous and they don't dazzle on coming people. Although they're not straight at the minute. They really don't dazzle anybody. Batteries obviously, I've covered all that. Sabaton um, SVM 150 I think it is. That's for the um, BMS to pair it on and off. So all you do is you hold that on for five seconds and then the light starts for five seconds, Tony. Why didn't we get a BMW? You only have to push the lem for five seconds. And then the light starts flashing. So we've got all the settings there. We've got, there's a charge screen there which gives you all the ballot, all the voltages, voltages of each cell. I took the front derailleur off because I don't need it. I also took the gears off that I don't need to save some weight. I took the derailleur off and I've just got a chain tensioner on there which works fantastically. And if I'm not happy with the gears that I've got I can always uh, just manually knock the thing over. It doesn't come off so everyone says that you need a chain guide and stuff. No you don't. And in the back we've got some... They're not right because they're bent look but they do work. I might actually have to get some uh, their 150mm Muddugger rear guard, rear guard on it. And now with a bit of camera trickery we're going to go to the ride. I've unleashed the beast. It now runs at the full 150 amps. I'm amazed that this 125 amp circuit breaker, which I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but yeah, it's 125 amp circuit breaker and it actually trips at around about 160 amps. I've got the app running for the phone, for the BMS, that was the one. I've got a mirror, I've got brakes, I've got two fantastic headlights, I've got strobe lights, I've got motorbike wheels, I've got people coming past me, hang on, I don't know if you can see it all, but it's all there and it's all working. Uh, this is just the test ride, basically. Actually, it's the second test ride. I did go out about a month ago. Well, no, a couple of weeks ago and test it. My God, it's an off shift now. I thought it was fast before, but now it's just ridiculous. And with these bike tyres on, motorbike tyres, it feels a lot better on cornering. It really does handle a hell of a lot better and it seems quite a lot smoother actually. That's probably because I've only put uh, 15 psi in them. <laughs> but it's not very uh, it's not very warm today. Oh it's about 10 degrees. And hopefully by the middle of this week it'll be in the 20s, which is about 3000 degrees Fahrenheit. I know this wide angle doesn't do it justice, but the acceleration is absolutely fantastically mind-blowing now. 150 amps through the bloody wheel. Oh, that's ridiculous. I know it doesn't show it, but... Well, I really don't know what speed that was. <laughs> Fantastic now. 
I was asked a question a while back. Does it make it twitchy with motorbike wheels and tyres and everything else on it? Uh, no, it doesn't. Not at all. Quite the opposite. It's now got a sort of a, a stand-uppish sort of a feel to it. You know, on a normal motor, on a normal push bike that you have to you steer. Well, on motorbikes, you don't so much steer. You move your body weight around to turn it. Like with this one now, I can just shift my body weight and it'll go around a bend. But it also wants to, when you're going around a bend fast, it also wants to stay upright. So, you have to, <laughs> going fast around bends, obviously, you have to really shift your arse off the seat. Well, not off the seat. You have to lean over. It's a shame you guys don't read, um, read the comments on my older videos. Obviously, you don't. I mean, I don't. It's only because I get notification that somebody said something that I'll look at it. But one of my old videos that I did last year, um, somebody left a comment on there and he said, obviously you know a lot about electronics, but you know nothing about bikes. <sighs> Unbelievable. And I also had another one. Um, because I've got a sticker on this that says Bosch 36 volts 250 watts and we all know what that's for somebody said I'm a troll well ladies and gentlemen this is the M6 car park this is the road that I have to travel every single morning on my way to work and I set out at half past four in the morning to get to work for six o'clock if I go any later, I'll get stuck in traffic. And I know you can't see it, but it's now on a 50 mile an hour speed limit. And it's round about, uh, what, 11 o'clock in the morning? It's absolutely ridiculous, the traffic sometimes. Look at that, nice clear patch. The motorways in the UK are ridiculous now. I mean, apparently this is the busiest stretch of motorway in Europe. And it's quite light at the minute, actually. Come here at about 3 o'clock, it's just completely standstill. Completely standstill. And when they have roadworks or contraflow or anything, it gets ridiculous. And you see this, this left-hand lane here, obviously... 90% of motorways in the UK. Well, look at him. What an arsehole. Unbelievable. 90% of the UK motorways are all three lanes. This was a couple of years ago. It was about five years ago. Yeah, about a couple of years. A couple or five years ago. It was converted into a four-lane motorway because of all the congestion and they put monitored, um, it's a smart motorway now, where they've put these speed restrictions, variable speed restrictions that they can put on. Anybody coming to the UK for a holiday or, or, or just wants to see a few things, don't travel on the motorway for God's sake, you won't get anywhere. Anyway, I'm going again. I'm doing 15 and a half miles an hour now, as you can see by the speed that I'm going. No, Tony, I'm not chasing anybody. I'm going slow because this is a test run, Tony. Dickhead. I don't do uh, many shout outs for other YouTubers, but I think there's one YouTube uh, chap that you should need to go and have a look. His name's Andy Kirby, and Andy's done a hell of a lot with solar power recently. The reason, uh, the way I found it, I was I was uh, researching e-bikes, and I came across his insane bloody build that he's done, which he's made out of one of those enduro frames. Fantastic piece of kit, uh, which is what I wanted, but I couldn't get it up the stairs because it was too heavy. So, 
go and have a look at his channel because he's currently doing a lot about solar as I said and he's doing a solar powered shed of all things um, he's going into solar power and everything else more than I could do I mean number one I ain't got the patience and number two I ain't got the patience I ain't got the cash either that's number three what was number two? Oh, I ain't got the patience look at this for so look I'm not joking look at that can you see that that down there that's where the cycle path starts this is where the cycle path ends it's 20 yards long that's a cycle path <laughs> oh love it <laughs> 